friends i welcome you all to the fourth series of intern diaries of guinea times the official campus magazine of cg act and sap i am harini pursuing third year in ec department also a member of guinea times eantra is a robotic outreach project and initiative of iit bombay which provides a platform to harness the intellectual talent of young india and create utility based robotics applications for usage in various fields of technology today we have vadivel and murugesan a winner of the eantra robotics competition along with his team and has successfully been eligible and completed a project intern in eantra let us hear more from him please tell us about yourself hello uh, myself vadivel and murugesan i'm a fourth year ec student at uh, cg and i'm currently a part of two clubs i'm the president of robotics club and a singer cum guitarist at uh, srutilya that's great how did you come across this intern well i got to know about this uh, internship through yantra robotics competition mm. uh, it was advertised that a few top teams from the competition would be selected to intern at the uh, embedded real time system lab at uh, iit bombay and usually the interns have to visit the campus for the 6 weeks internship but uh, due to the pandemic it was conducted virtually mm. okay could you explain the various stages of the selection process and how your team prepared for it well uh, after the finals of the competition few top ranked teams uh, were shortlisted for the interview process so uh, we ranked third in the whole competition oh. so the shortlisted students were uh, required to log in into a portal and uh, submit their details and a list of projects were available about uh, 40 projects are uh, done during the internship so uh, about 40 to 50 students are correct uh, selected through the shortlisting process so we submit the student details and shortlist five out of those 40 projects and after individual interview on we'll get one of those projects where uh, the student can contribute the most coming to the preparation i think the competition itself equipped me with the skills required for the project intern mm-hmm. uh, we did not do any uh, special preparation for the internship that's nice how is the competition and what quality of your team contributed to your selection okay uh, the competition was uh, really an eye opener for us uh, it required lots of dedication and timely inputs uh, the whole competition is divided into two stages and each stage had a uh, uh, three to four task to submit so we completed most of the task well ahead of the deadline which gave us some some time to make some improvement uh, uh maybe we have we got extra time to improve the uh, response of the task and uh, these tasks will be graded so the uh, better we produce the task output uh, the more score we would obtain so before the competition i don't think uh, we realized ourselves that we could work for a long time continuously that to uh, through an online meet that's great did you do any course or internship prior to this um project intern no actually uh, uh, i did not do any course or internship prior to this okay could you walk us through a typical day in the intern yeah uh, the whole uh, project during the internship was also divided into task and sub task so every day we should make some progress but there was no fixed uh, work times mm-hmm. so the work could take 1 to 2 hours or even 6 uh, hours so it completely depended on the task and how technically strong we were uh, and uh, we had to submit daily report so this is how a typical day went how long was the internship and how would you describe the work environment the internship was for 6 uh, to 7 weeks and the work environment was really friendly our mentors were very understanding and encouraging uh, they were open to new ideas and we had freedom to uh, give uh, some new input okay and uh, also we had freedom to work our own way but the uh, output should reach their level of satisfaction that's what they wanted so every week there would be a progress meeting with the principal investigator where we will present our presentation the progress how much we have done and practically how much we have implemented all those things would present and uh, that's how we make sure we are on time that's nice <laughs> what did you find challenging as an intern and is there anything you wish you knew before taking this internship 
Well, as an intern, uh, it was a bit difficult initially to work with the new team. Uh, I didn't get much time to understand how others worked, and they had really bad uh, internet issue. Uh, that was a big challenge for me. And uh, uh, even though we uh, joined, we got into the internship as a team. Uh, each of us got different projects. So uh, we had in my team, I had someone from Kerala, uh, two people from Andhra, two people from uh, somewhere in north. So uh, there was a bit communication issues as well, um, and the whole conversation was going on in Hindi. So uh, that was fine, but still, like uh, there was some issue with the communication mm -hmm. and the internet. These were the main challenges. I'm sure the internship was enriching as a whole, but what do you think is the main highlight of your experience? What did you learn the most from your? Mm, uh... This internship, I, I would say that it's very different from what a typical company could uh, provide uh, because uh, we were able to uh, meet some really great professors from IIT Bombay and uh, alumni of IIT Bombay. So uh, you, ma you may have heard of uh, Dr. Rajit Ranade. He had uh, come to give us some seminars and we were able to talk to him about geopolitics and uh, there were uh, some seminars conducted by a few ongoing researchers done in uh, IIT Bombay in the control systems lab like that. So that was really highlight for me because we interns got the privilege to attend the seminars, which we usually don't get. Uh, those are really private events. That's very inspiring. Does Iantra provide full-time jobs after the internship? Yeah, uh, they provide full-time job. Uh, the role is assistant project manager role. Those are available for the intern. Again, the selection is through interview. That's nice. Would you recommend this intern to our uh, fellow students, our juniors? Yeah, definitely. Because uh, this is something which was very uh, technical and uh, robotics oriented. All of the projects were uh, non-existent, actually. So we would be working on something related to the research going on in IIT Bombay lab or something they would like to work on. So these, uh, after we finish the project again, that would be continued by them or next year set of interns. So that is a really great opportunity. And uh, over here, the CGP, all those things doesn't matter a lot. If you're skilled, if you're technically strong in this, or if you could learn it in a short time, they are open to uh, students like them. Okay. What is your opinion about Intern Diaries initiative by Kindy Times? So it's a really uh, great initiative because it would give uh, our juniors uh, an idea of how the internships will be, what a typical intern student would be doing, what can they expect in certain company or uh, which kind of company are they suitable for. They would get the idea from these kind of interviews. And I really thank uh, Gindi Times for coming forward to do this uh, initiative. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. It was very informative. Uh, on behalf of Guinea Times, I wish you a very, uh, all the very best for your future plans. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.